um, and it's an honor to be asked to assist on this important and ambitious campaign to protect journalists and freedom of the press today. We are here because it's never been more dangerous to report the news. According to the Committee for the Protection of Journalists, in the last five years, we've seen the highest number of journalists imprisoned than at any time since their records began almost three decades ago. The highest number as well of journalists who've been reported missing. Um, and we also know of many situations where journalists are not just dying because they walk into conflict zones unarmed for the most part, but actually because they've been targeted for assassination for their work. Um, among the five countries where this is happening at the highest rates are two of the world's largest democracies, India and Brazil. This is also happening in Europe, where in recent years we've seen the murder of journalists in Malta and Slovakia. And six months ago, as of course has been mentioned, a Washington Post journalist was brutally murdered and dismembered at the Saudi consular in Istanbul. Uh, now is a moment when open societies, when liberal democracy, uh, are facing real threats. Uh, I think probably greater threats than at any time in my lifetime uh, inside our own liberal democracies. And we're seeing a real effort in many parts of the world and even around the world to undermine the whole notion of an open society, to undermine the idea of liberal democracy. Um, we believe that it's essential for liberal democracies to push back. And those of us who appreciate the absolute importance of liberal democracy need to really start taking some concrete action uh, to defend the open society and to defend liberal democracy. I mean, I think the G7 is very, very important. Uh, we all have very regular contacts with Mike Pompeo anyway. Um, but it's a very, very important grouping because it is the world's leading democracies. And therefore, we have an alliance of values inside the G7. Um, and certainly the UK, in terms of our role, whether it's Brexit or no Brexit, we've always thought the G7 is an extremely important forum and we'll continue to do so.